Hey everybody, we're back with another video. This one is gonna be pretty easy, pretty standard. We're gonna finally update the Nokia N8 to um, the official Symbian Bell. Now, I have already uh, connected the N8 to a USB, fired up the, uh, I think they changed the name. It's like Nokia, Nokia Soup Suite now, or some shit like that. Sorry for my language, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. Anyways, everybody's been waiting for this uh, update for quite a while. And I'm sorry I'm doing it through the camera, uh, you know, from a screen. But I don't have uh, screen capture. But in any case, once you have it pulled up, just go up to the uh, updates after you connected your phone. Which is right up here. And bam, update to Nokia Bell. It immediately comes up. Install. I understand and continue now it's uh, quite a big download so I guess we're gonna come back to this once we're done alright guys now we're back the uh, update is uh, completed now and uh, so you can see is finishing the uh, restore the backup restore now the keep in mind that the updated uh, Symbian Bell is actually gonna give you uh, a few uh, updates uh, I'm sorry a few uh, uh, changes uh, to the operating system including a better browser um, I believe it was six or seven uh, home screens that you're gonna be able to have uh, besides that uh, I think it's uh, also a 30 frame per second um, high-definition record video recording and a few little tweaks here and there that uh, they were they have been promising for boy quite a long time to tell the truth so I'm, I'm Kind of excited, yes and no, because this is the uh, actual Symbian Bell from Nokia, not a uh, uh, a leaked version, which is what I had previously on another uh, Nokia N8. Now, I'm still finishing up this whole thing. Uh, it should be done shortly, but aside from that, I mean, it's, it's really that easy um, to do the update. So most of y'all shouldn't even be scared to do the update it, it should be you know pretty much just click a couple of buttons a, a couple of uh spots download the software and you're good to go and you should have it on your phone uh i don't know what what do you all think i mean it should this have taken that long uh keep in mind that this is an unlocked version um i think this should this should have been you know one of the first phones to get it i mean unlocked versions unlocked nokia n8 but they were saying that it took so long because they had so many versions uh, from Orange, uh, T-Mobile in, in, in Europe. But anyways, I mean, that's besides the point. It just took extremely too long to go from uh, Symbian version 3 to Symbian Anna and then to Symbian Bell. And what I keep hearing that is there's going to be another update, another updated version of Symbian, which I'm... I mean, I wish I could tell you all that, you know, I, I'm a fan of Nokia, but it, it's getting too old now. These updates are too slow. Uh, they are not keeping up with the competition. Nokia went with uh, also building phones for uh, for um, Windows now. So it's it's kind of a, a letdown for people that who are actual fans of their operating system, of the uh, Symbian operating system. But... Um, I mean, it's 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 whatever. It's it's up to the user, I guess. Yeah, it is easy to use and all that stuff. But what we'll see, we'll we'll see where it goes from here. All right, let's go ahead and click finish. It should all be done. English for the language. I already have a Nokia account. Connecting now, it should already just connect me right in because uh, it should uh, register my number and my SIM card as well as I did a backup. Keep that in mind. All right, so he's still asking me to enter my password. So let me go ahead and do this and uh, finish up and uh, bring it back up when uh, I'm done entering all this information. All right, we're back. We finished uh, entering all the information, all the data, passwords, and stuff. Uh, I don't know why they didn't pull it up with the uh, backup. It should have done it. Right now, I'm connected via the Wi-Fi 
uh, you know, my house Wi-Fi, not the uh, data for the phone provider. Um, but all right, just to uh, show you guys, you know, before we go into a review, I'm going to do that next time. I'm going to spend a couple of days with this and then um, give you a proper review. Uh, there are six home screens. You know, it, it is very responsive. The one other thing I noticed, of course, you know, the drop down, uh, I don't know what I'd call it, a uh, drop down window or whatever. But uh, anyways, the um, other thing I did notice actually was the uh, the fact that um, the messaging, I'm sorry, the uh, the keyboard for it, it was a bit more responsive than I remember. I mean, it was actually pretty nice. I don't even know where messaging is at right now. Uh, anyways, I got to figure this out. And uh, But before we go too deep into our review, uh, I can tell you all the... Uh, the browser is still some some dookie I mean some 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 creamy disgusting yucky don't want to deal with kinda of dookie you know what I mean it's just frustrating it's extremely frustrating brings me to the uh, mobile site in the full site see how fast it comes up and keep in mind I'm, I'm, I'm connected to Wi-Fi too so okay it's nearly done This is not, this is not fun. Let me just put it that way. Son of a bitch. Anyways, um, I'm going to spend a couple of days with this phone, Symbian Bell, see if, you know, anything's been fixed. But uh, I can tell you all that... Uh, the wait was really for nothing in regards to the uh, browser. It's nothing was done to it. Uh, it it feels pretty much the same as the uh, last review I had. Um, all right, but anyways, that was just the uh, update to Symbian Bell. How easy it was, uh, and it has to be done through the computer. Keep that in mind. It has to be done through the computer because it's uh, approximately 200, 246 uh, megabits, which is way over the uh, the the RAM of the phone so you can't download it directly to the phone alright so you have to go through the computer itself uh, I guess that's it I guess I'll see you guys next time when I do the proper review of the official Symbian Bell alright and yeah I guess I'm gonna be a little bit biased right now but I'm telling you it's probably not gonna be that good of a review and I'm talking about the information that I'm gonna give you from what I just saw right now so Alright, you guys take care.